So, Kerry, we're here at the Furnace of North America show. Um, Metal Treating Institute produces this thing, and, and Beaver Maddox, a couple years ago, really stepped up and became one of our diamond sponsors. Y'all been great supporters of us. One, well, first, I want to say thank you for that. Um, but coming here at the show, we've had a lot of traffic, things are, people are talking about it. And what I want to hear from Beaver Maddox's standpoint is what kind of things are you hearing from the customers on the show floor that they're struggling with, their challenges? What are the things that you're hearing they're trying to be here to solve in the world of furnaces? Well, I guess probably the biggest thing is, uh, is everybody's looking at computers implementation of uh, PLC and data acquisition systems is uh, education. Mm -hmm. Seems like the upper management has their own theory about what they want to see. The operators and some of the people at the lower ends are unfamiliar with it and they're a little bit scared of it. And I think there's an awful lot of things and systems here that are, that are it's a good education for everybody. Right. And some of the technical sessions that have certainly uh, have uh, helped them out. And we're trying to do the same thing. For us, we want to make our customers happy, but uh, we also have to make sure they're able to handle these systems and be sure. able to implement them. Now, um, talking about education, a lot of that does with, uh, has to do with technologies and trends. What are some of the technologies and trends you're seeing? We're in, in a lot of industries, one of the largest technology shifts in computers and cars and many things. And looking at furnaces, I mean, is, is it going through a huge shift of technology? And what, could, what are some of those shifts going on? Well, I think some of that is that's very true. I think, but again, it goes back to some of the things that you can record and some of the data you're going to acquire. I think some of the, you know, maintaining your gas usage, you know, energy efficiencies, being able to look and tie it into all the the data you're, you're, you're obtaining, you want to make sure you're able to use it. And I think the implementation of it, I think that if you go back into some of the wireless technology that's coming around with it right now, the worried about noise, interference, worried about any kind of uh, alterations to that data. Is it accurate data? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, again, going back to utilizing it to make for a, for a better product. Right. Everybody needs some way to, to fall back on your records. Now let's talk about product, specifically Beavermatic, things you are working on and stuff. What, what kind of things are you at liberty to say to the world out there in the heat treat here at the show, through the internet, places this video is going to be seen? Looking at the challenges, looking at the trends and shifts in technology, what specifically is Beavermatic working on or doing that's going to really help the heat treaters? Well, I guess probably the biggest thing is, uh, again, trying to keep implement all these things that are available today, mm -hmm. especially the computers. And we're trying to make it so a continual, keep it in simple, right. so that it's not too complicated. And so some of our efforts are always be to keep our keep things back to the KISS principles, mm -hmm. trying to keep it simple, stupid, right. as they say. Right. So I think that's probably one of the things that we're really focusing on, so that everybody, including our employees and our service guys and our in our uh, our customers, right. can utilize the equipment a little quicker well, and understand some of these new technologies. And absolutely. Be able to well, we, we greatly appreciate you guys bringing your expertise, um, the funding you boot do for the show, your, your sponsorships and stuff, and I appreciate you taking the time to be with here and share what's exciting at Beavermatic. Oh, you're welcome. All right, Jerry, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.